There are several types of epithelium. They can be categorized as protective and glandular epithelium. Protective epithelium is classified based on shape and number of layers as simple and stratified. The slide shown is the kidney, which consists of the cortex and medulla. Higher magnification shows the Malpighian corpuscles. The Bowman's capsule containing simple squamous epithelium is situated around the Malpighian corpuscles. That is a single layer polarized epithelium which its basal surface is located on the basal membrane and its apical surface is toward the urinary space. Here, parts of the both distal and proximal convoluted tubules are visible. Distal convoluted tubules contain simple cuboidal epithelium. These cells almost have equal length, weight, and height with a round nucleus. Next slide is gallbladder. Our aim is to describe the simple columnar epithelium. Each cells have more height than other dimensions. Their nuclei are located vertically on the basal parts of the cells. Cells of this epithelium, like others, are anchored on a basement membrane. The connective tissue is visible under it. The next slide is the trachea, which has a cartilaginous main structure. Its epithelium is pseudostratified ciliated epithelium. With further magnification, the basal membrane can be seen. Three types of cells can be observed, including ciliated cells, couplet cells, and basal cells, with different lengths. Their nuclei are located at different levels giving the impression of stratification. The next slide is the urinary bladder. The transitional epithelium is specific to the urinary system. Transitional epithelium is unique in that it is able to stretch and expand as the bladder wheels with urine without rupturing. In transitional epithelium, there are typically three layers of cells. Basal layer, the bottom layer of cells that rest on the basement membrane. These cells are typically cuboidal or columnar in shape. Intermediate layer, the second layer of cells above the basal layer. These cells are polygonal in shape and have variable sizes and shapes. Umbrella cells, the top layer of cells that are dump-shaped, white, and almost completely cover the surface of the tissue. The next slide is the esophagus. The epithelium is non cratinized stratified squamous. With higher magnification, the larger central lumen can be seen in the bright space. The epithelium consists of basal cell on the basement membrane, followed by cuboidal cells, and the most superficial cells are squamous with condensed nuclei. The next slide is the skin. The epithelium is stratified as squamous cratinized. The skin contains both epidermis and dermis. With higher magnification, the epidermis of the skin can be seen. In the epidermis, there are basal cells followed by cuboidal cells 
and then several layers of cells that accumulate creatine inside the cell and lost their cell structure. 